Hello and welcome to episode 143 of The Pilgrimage on FM23. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode I've got two games for you. We're away to Spal in Syria. I'll then play the Coppa Italia game against Bologna off camera and I'll bring you back to show you the uh, home game against Udinese in Syria. And if there is any uh, January transfer business to tell you about, I'll also do that on this episode as well. So let's get straight into the uh, first match and I'll show you the team to face Spal in just a moment. Okay, here is your team to face uh, Spal then and it is Edo in goal, back four of Denia, White, Dorrington and Quacquarelli, Delcor at the base of midfield, Toninho and Lavia ahead of him, Teixeira on the left, Batali on the right, Stamenkovic up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, my assistant thinks if you carry this last performance into this match, uh, we'll do well. And I agree with him. I think um, given the run we're on, that's entirely the right call. So we will um, outstretch the arms and agree. And let's go into the tunnel, do our tunnel interview. Why have, been, why have we been so poor on our travels? Um, been playing well. Um, and I'm confident we'll turn the results around. How pleased are you with the team's recent record in front of goal? Goals win games. Um, it's important to play well and it gives us a better chance of winning. Okay, let's get uh, into the action. And uh, as always, first 10 minutes will determine uh, what our uh, first shout looks like. And we are slightly on top. Although uh, it is a spell attack to begin with. It's broken up though. Uh, Dorrington plays it into Tininho. He's left it short and Pia is in. And that is a brilliant save from Gianni Edo. And uh, it's uh, Bjornsson with the corner for Spal. Headed away. But uh, Longato picks it up. Finds Lipani. Sarajic... Barzagli and the highlight comes to an end. Demand more clearly necessary at this point. And Spal need to be uh, contained at this uh, moment. Dorrington to Delcor. Batili plays it through for Stamenkovic. He hits the shot and uh, we'll get a corner out of it. Should have been more than that. In swinging corner. Teixeira with it. Plays it to near post, headed away. And Bjornsson completes the clearance. The highlight comes to an end. So we're going to need a, a demand more. As soon as we get the chance. Let's do that now then. And we'll begin reviewing what changes we'll make at half time. Uh, fitness wise, we're okay at the moment. So nothing sort of pressing at the minute. Batali plays it out to Quacquarelli on the right. His ball in for Teixeira and beats the keeper at his near post. Beautiful finish. Spal nil, Juventus won. 36 minutes gone. So that's a great start to uh, the match. It takes us back to the top of the league. Having dropped down to third place initially. And there we go. Half time, 1-0 up. Let's go and give the lads some words of encouragement. Yep, doing well. Can definitely find another gear. Um, let's pump the fists and agree. Uh, any changes? Yeah, we'll take Pablo Dania off and bring on Mancuso. Other than that, I'm going to leave it exactly as it is and start the second half. Hit them with a demand more again. Okay. And it's Berzagli with the throw in. Lagoff to Berzagli again. Lavia cuts the ball out. Quacquarelli to Dorrington. Back to Edo. We go out to the left this time. White to Mancuso. 
Ball forward for Teixeira, who's got it under control. Cuts back, plays it to Mancuso, who plays it over the top for the onrushing Teixeira. His ball in is uh, prodded home by Stamenkovic, and that's 2-0. 57 gone, and surely that now should wrap up the win. And it is now just a case of managing fitness levels amongst the players. Um, Quacquarelli does need to come off, as does Tininio. So we'll pause it there and do both of those changes. Quacquarelli for DAE. Tininio. And he'll be replaced by... Ian Smith um, will also replace Dalcor with uh, Pamela. We'll replace White with uh, Stojanovic and we'll replace Teixeira. In fact, we can't. We're out of subs. So we've done as many as we can. And we've got 18 minutes to try and hang, hold on to 11 men on the field. The result's probably secure. But uh, there's a number of tired legs out there at the moment. Can't do anything about that. Into the final five minutes. Still holding that 2-0 advantage. Which is enough to put us top of the table. And uh, there's the full-time whistle. Spal nil, Juventus 2. I'll play the uh, Coppa Italia game off-camera and I'll bring you back for the second match of the episode in just a moment. OK, before we face uh, Udinese in the second match of today's episode, time to uh, round up the uh, January transfer window. I'll begin with the uh, departures. There were two in the end. Uh, Bikin Peachy uh, joins Reading on loan and Luigi De Giorgi uh, goes out on loan to Messina. And just one incoming, very late in the uh, transfer window, on deadline day itself. Uh, Julian Hakkar uh, joins from Milan uh, on loan. And uh, let's meet him. So here he is. He's a 26-year-old uh, striker. Uh, he's got two under-21 caps and one under 21 goal, not capped by the uh, full national side yet. But as you can see, he is the uh, second best striker at the club behind Amaro Batali, who we play on the right wing, uh, as he's the best right winger at the club. So as you, uh, as you can imagine, Hacker has come straight in to uh, rival Vedran Stamenkovic for the uh, one striker slot up front. So with transfer deadline day uh, out of the way and dealt with, let's get on with the uh, second match of the episode and I'll show you the team to face Udinese in just a moment. Okay, here is the uh, team then for the... Uh, game against Udinese and it is Edo in goal back four of Denia, White, Dorrington and Quacquarelli, Delcor at the base of midfield, Tininio and Smith ahead of him, Teixeira on the left, Batili on the right and Hakkar the new signing up front. So let's submit the uh, team and go and give a team talk. Okay, my assistant wants us to uh, carry your last performance into this match so that we'll do well. Uh, we've been saying that an awful lot recently, so I think we pump the fists. Uh, fans expect to win, don't let them down. And uh, let's go into the tunnel. Uh, as much as it might be a cliche, is the first goal all important. Um, goals win matches, it's always helpful to get out in front. Has the recent fixture list been particularly challenging? Uh, runner match has been hard but we knew it would be and we're always up for the challenge happy squad is a winning squad and uh, vice versa and there we go we're into uh, the match so let's kick things off 
And as always, we'll give it 10 minutes just to see how things uh, start. And then we'll make any necessary changes. Uh, we have dropped down to uh, second in the table. Uh, Napoli having already uh, played and presumably won. As uh, Teixeira has it, finds Delcor. Dania back to White. To Dorrington, into Delcor. Dorrington again out to Quacquarelli on the right. Into the area, shoots. And uh, it's uh, over the top, I think via the top of the crossbar. We're down to third, in fact. Um, the reason for that, I think, is Inter winning. As Teixeira takes a corner, headed away. Delcor plays it to Smith, out to Quacquarelli. And he shoots, but uh, hits the side netting. And the highlight comes to an end. There is immediately another one, though. And Dorrington wins the uh, loose ball. Quacquarelli takes it up. Dorrington to White. Into Tininho. To Shera. Through for Hakar. He shoots, hits both posts, and the ball stays out. Uh, Tininho into Smith. Uh, he's dispossessed and the highlight comes to an end. How on earth that didn't go in from Hakar, I have no idea. Uh, let's demand more and see if we can uh, find a way through in this first half. So, Ribeiro to Benelli, back to Ribeiro. Uh, Delcor putting him under pressure, doesn't dispossess him. Vukovic to Avier. Avier dispossessed by Tininho, who surely was fouled there. Vukovic, but we've won it back. Smith to Tininho, to Shera. Plays it through for Hakar. Can he finish this time? Yes, he can. And uh, it is Juventus 1, Udinese 0. And uh, we're ahead again. Five minutes before the break. Takes us back to the top of the table. Uh, Dania to White from the throw-in. Into Tininho. Dania to Teixeira. Into Hakar. Loses out to Vukovic. And uh, we win it back. Uh, Delcor gives it away. Hilton to Amory. And Amory back to Avier. Avier comes forward. And Benelli to uh, Silvio. Out to Hilton on the uh, right hand side. He comes infield, cuts it back. And it's smashed clear. And Hakar can pick it up on the left. Infield to Smith. Plays it forward for Batley, and the cross is deflected into the arms of Aram, the uh, Udinese keeper. He launches it forward, it's flicked on, and uh, finished by Silverio. And it is Udinese who level the scores. Juventus won, Udinese won, and we need a demand more. So Delcor to White to uh, Dania, to Nino to Teixeira, plays it through for uh, Hakar, and his finish took a slight deflection and finds its way past the keeper. It is Juventus 2, Udinese 1, just before half time. And there it is, that's the half time score 2 1 to Juventus. Doing well, can definitely find another gear, I agree. And uh, we'll take Quacquarelli off at half time for DAE. And that'll do, just the one change. Everybody else is fine for now. So we'll uh, demand more again. See if we can get a third goal to uh, hopefully put the game to bed. We deserve the lead. And we've got a free kick to share his ball in. Headed away by Ame. Uh, White back to Tininho. Gives the ball away. Moretti brings it clear. And uh, beats the uh, U uh, Juventus defence. It's played back to Avier. And infield to Ferreira. Shoots and it's just wide. And the highlight comes to an end. 
I'm going to save the uh, substitutions for as long as I possibly can. Uh, we've got a corner, headed back to the taker, Teixeira cuts inside and gives the ball away. Uh, Denier picks up the loose one, finds Delcor, Dorrington to Delcor again, over the top for Batterley. His cross is pushed away by the keeper and the highlight comes to an end. Right, Teixeira and Delcor both need to come off. So we'll make both of those changes. Delcor will be replaced by Lavia. Um, Teixeira will be replaced by Garnacho. That'll do for now. And uh, we will keep the remaining subs in hand for a little while longer. Denia needs to come off, as does Tininio. So I'll make both of those changes now. Um, Denia at left back, uh, replaced by Simone Mancuso. Uh, Batali, in fact, Tininio was the one I was going to replace. So we'll replace him with Pamela. And then Batali can be replaced. No, we can't. We've run out of subs. So that's it. The remaining players will have to see this through. Dorrington to Lavia. Back to White. Denia into Garnacho, And it's cut out. Uh, Aram clears. Dorrington wins his header. Finds DAE. Back to Dorrington. DAE infield to Tininio. Back to White. Tininio again. Back to White. White forward to Garnacho over the top, but it's cleared. And uh, Ferreira finds uh, Silverio. It's back to Vukovic. And uh, Hilton plays it over the top. DA tries to bring it down and fluffs his lines. And uh, Lucas Ferreira has got an equaliser for Udinese. So that's a massive disappointment. And surely is going to be two points drop. We'll go attacking. We'll demand more as well. And let's see. Can we manage to uh, find another goal to grab a late win? It's played over the top. And Ferreira is in. Santos's clearance is deflected. And it's smashed behind by Diei. Corner to Udinese. With only four minutes of normal time left. And uh, we are in danger of uh, losing this game entirely if we're not careful. As Miretti plays the ball in to the far post, headed away by White. Santos allows it to go out of play. And the highlight comes to an end. Demand more needed if we can provide it in time. Uh, looks like we can't. And there's your full-time whistle, Juventus 2, Udinese 2, and I'll be back in a moment to show you the league table and tell you what's coming up on the next episode. Okay, time now to take a look at the league table, and as you can see, that draw with uh, Udinese has cost us uh, top spot in the table. We're down to second place, a point adrift of leaders Napoli. And uh, let's have a look at when we're going to come back. And I think I'll bring you back for the game in March away to Lazio. And I'll show you the second leg of our Europa League round of 16 game. Um, we don't yet know who that is against, but I'll show you both of those on the next episode. And if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.